Hello there YouTube, it's Back in the Day Toys with uh, a sorted haul video. So most of this is uh, just one car boot sale, um, but in the last video I spoke about some of my paraphernalia, the, the collectible kitchen things. Uh, I don't think I've ever shown them to you guys because a lot of this doesn't come from car boots. But we'll start with the car boot stuff. Uh, today was the day I went to the flea market. I also got four badges, there's two there, uh, there's another two on the other side. Uh, I got this alien, forgot about him, he's a little chap may fella for two quid from the same people with all the Batman things. Uh, this is some little bits that I picked up in a charity shop. Uh, they have a box of 10p things by the desk. They have this Dr. Feelgood badge. Uh, I believe this to be a Z-Bot. A Street of Rage 4 little key ring. And they have one of these dudes. I used to have these when I was a kid. Uh, he's lost all his eyes and whatnot. But I've just been keeping him in my, in the, my bag, so he's... Got all grimy from being in the bottom of the rucksack, but there he is. Anyway, this is the first car boot haul of 2024. Uh, the big car boot's not open, so the small little one that I never go to anymore um, opened. Every time I've been there, I've been really disappointed in the last, God knows how many years, 10, maybe more. Um, so I really don't bother going. Um, so I didn't turn up till maybe 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, not expecting there to be anything worth seeing. Uh, did find one lady who had a box of dinosaurs. She had this Jurassic Park one, which I don't think I've ever had before. I don't know where he's from. Uh, it's not one I'm really familiar with, not with this sort of color scheme anyway. Uh, so yeah, I was really happy to find him. Got this one. This is clearly one of the Lost World ones. Definitely had him as a kid. Might need a little bit of a clean up, but he was okay. And they had these two Chinosaurs. In fact, there was loads of Chinosaurs, but they was, were the only ones I was willing to pay 50p for. Because uh, everything was 50p each, even the tiny little things. So, yeah, I only ended up picking up two. Could have got loads from them. Uh, they also had this. Um, little fun finger monsters. And after finding that one a couple of weeks before, when I found these like modern, highly detailed versions of them, for 50p for all of them, so they worked out at 10p each, uh, I knew I had to have these. These are just too cool, look at this little pineapple -y skin. Yeah, very, very cool. This one especially, look at him, wow. Yeah, they didn't look that cool when I was a kid, but yeah, 50p, it's chuffed with that. Uh, one of the trader dudes uh, said Merry Christmas and gave me this Supernaturals. Uh, it's really hard to get the holograms on camera, but there you go. He's still got his hologram working well there. Uh, so, yeah, just gifted me that. Very kind of him. And another fella had these two bootlegs. Now, I don't know what this guy is a bootleg of, or whether it's just because I happen to be buying dinosaurs at the same time, but he looks like some sort of bootleg Jurassic Park dude to me. But I could be totally wrong. And then he had this as well. This one's probably much more modern. This is some sort of zombie Pirates of the Caribbean bootleggy thing. Maybe Chap May, but I think it's probably even more unbranded than that. So he's a bit naff. But he was cool, and I was super pleased with this little dino as well. He is amazing. So yeah, all in all, uh, I spent like £3.50 or something. Uh, I was really chuffed to leave with some like real nice vintage stuff, some bootleggy stuff, retro -y sort of stuff. So yeah, that, it was a good first car boot of the year. Now we're going to go through some of the kitchen items that I was sort of talking about before. I guess it started with my uh, love of fiendish feet, trying to find a few more of these and getting them in the kitchen. And then I found someone who had, I believe this is a wimpy box for the Ghostbusters 2 film. Um, oh yeah. Ugh. And uh, it came with two drinks. This Ghostbusters cup, slime milkshake, strawberry. Don't think that one's been used, but could be wrong. And it also came with this little miniature ghost in a can, which I imagine was like Coca-Cola. Do not open. So yeah, they were very cool. Uh, these two I got recently. This is a cookie box from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is an American thing. I don't think this was ever sold in the UK. I did actually try taking the lid off and plan to use it as a biscuit bin, but uh, it really doesn't come out very well. And same guy I got this from, Casper, Beware of the Blue Glue. I can still remember how these ice lollies tasted. This went really cheap. This was like only a few quid. 
and he had a wrapper of this, and that sold for mega bucks. So I don't know why people didn't want the box, but wanted the plastic wrapper, but who knows. I also got this uh, Turtles Teenage Mutant Ninja cereal. Don't think this was ever sold in the UK either. Strangely, it says no tropical oils. Uh, the same thing, I think, is written there on that too. So I don't know what this tropical oil thing is they have in America, but uh, they seem very happy to tell you no tropical oils. Love to have tried this cereal. It just looks mental. I guess it's like um, Lucky Charms, but even still. Would love to have found out what that tasted like. Uh, got these as well. Now, these are a bit more modern, and they didn't come with a tin. They just came as the stickers, and I just wrapped them around a tin. Um, but, yeah, look at the days where you could get a tank out of your spaghetti shapes and a Godzilla. What a time to be alive. And then some X-Men ones. So again, these just sit on the shelf in the kitchen. Strangely, uh, Super 7, who do that big box of Ultimates figures I have upstairs that I need to do a video on for you. Um, they did this. This, like, well, looks like what we just looked at. Already done it. Spaghetti in a can thing. But it was actually a Shredder action figure. Came in this cool little cardboard box as well. That said expired on the side. Standard issue. Foot Clan approved food. And then inside the little tub, you take the lid off, and there's like a special variant Super 7 Shredder. I'm not a big fan of those, but I have bought a few of them now since B&M's been doing them on offer. And then inside the can, it all looks like... Oops. So yeah, all this sort of stuff, it just sits on the shelf in my kitchen. I guess it's the, the collection spreading in a way, but it does have its just little cornery shelf of the kitchen. It's not like it's everywhere. But yeah. Just to give you a heads up, the sort of nonsense I keep in my kitchen and uh, with the first car boot haul of 2024. See you guys.